Hey everyone, so according to this guy, apparently you're not allowed to use a calculator in most areas where in most areas where you program, which I find is pretty dumb. Unless you can I guess I guess you can't even program a calculator that allows you to do this. I don't understand why, but I guess it's whatever. So I'm pretty much going to be using his his method, which I'm actually quite surprised on, well, actually how easy it was. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to MS, MS Paint real quick here. And now, so say we have a... So we have a problem like 6C4A9. We are actually going to be converting this into hexadecimal. Each number is what's known as 4 bits. So in other words, it's going to have 4 digits per number. So, so we're just going to make little thing like this here three four yeah let's just go ahead and stop it this way the at a and so pretty much what how this works is that we do like uh, how is it oh yeah one two four eight each of these multiply by two, and then one, two, four, eight, one, two, four, eight, one, two, four, eight. This is four digit, uh, four, uh, four bit coding here, and then we're pretty much all we do is add, add up so that uh, get numbers. So that way we, we add up to, um, no, we add ones to the numbers that will add up to the number. So for your example, six, four, and two is six, so we add ones there. C, C is 12, eight plus four is 12, so we add ones there. Four, it's just right there. A, 10, <clears throat> eight plus two is 10, so we add ones there. So now, so now we have the binary. Now we have the binary number of one one zero one one zero 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 one zero zero one zero one zero. That's the binary of six C four A. And now what we do, if I remember correctly, yeah. Okay, so we now just keep multiplying uh, by two from here. So, and I memorize this by heart. So, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. I gotta do it up here. One twenty-eight, two fifty-six, five hundred twelve. Yeah, 512, <clears throat> 1,024, 2,048, 4,000, oh, I gotta do some calculations here. Four thousand ninety six, eight thousand one hundred, um, ninety two, and then finally sixteen thousand. <clears> Actually, I never gone up this far. Sixteen thousand three hundred. Eighty-four. Okay, so now we add it all up. Uh, now all the numbers that are one, we just add up. So one thousand, uh, so sixteen thousand three hundred eighty-four 
plus 8,192 plus 2,048. Let's go ahead and divide it into multiple problems. Plus one plus one thousand twenty four plus sixty four plus eight plus two. And then we just go off from here. Two plus eight is ten plus four, that'll be fourteen. Carry the one <clears throat> one, I think that's a nine. Yeah, that's a nine. Um 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 1, that's 13. Um, oh, wait, no. 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 8, that's 18, plus 2, that's 22. So 2, carry the 2. 3 plus 1 is obviously 4, plus 2, that's 6. 6 plus, I oh, know, 2 plus 8, that's 10, plus 6, that would be 16. Carry the 1, and then... So we have 26,624, and then we're going to add it from this number once we solve it. So 8 plus 2 plus 8, that'll be 18. I'm just grouping these together, like that's 8, that's 10, pretty much. And then <clears throat> 6 plus 2, that's um, 6 plus 2, that's 8. 8 plus 1, that'll be 9. Or gotta gotta write this somewhere else. So eight, nine, and then then zero, one, and then we just add that by two, six, six, two, four. Add that up. That should be two. Carry the one, nine. 9 plus 2, that's 11, plus 2, that's 20, that's 12, 6 plus 1, that's 7, 6 plus 1 again, that's 7, and then 2. So the, an so the decimal answer of 6C4A is 27722. And um, I know we're not supposed to use a calculator, but let's go ahead and just check that any anyway. So 277 two two hex is six is six C four A and that's our answer. Yeah, sorry if yeah, I just thought I need to tell you that before you start de developing that into a habit and I don't want you to pretty much destroy me all because you got kicked out. Yeah, that's uh, completely my fault. And plus, this is actually a lot easier way to do it. It's so much faster. And um, it is a lot faster. And I would actually recommend this more than the original way I did it. However, I'm afraid the way you convert it back is still the same. You still have to do long division, um, as far as I can tell. But either way, um, if you're good at math, you don't need a calculator to do uh, long division like I do. So, yeah. So that's it, and I'll be seeing you. Sorry about the previous video.